This video is going to teach you step-by-step -step about the advanced Pokemon settings on the Pokemon Tracker website so that you don't ever have to have a Kakuna like this show up on your map again. We're going to go into settings. We're going to select Pokemon, advanced, and priorities. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove all the Pokemon from our map. We're going to click Options, Select All, Change All down at the bottom, turn the Auto Layer off, click Hidden to hide them, save that layer, click Back, go right back up into Options, and deselect them all so that we don't accidentally change them all again as a group. When you close out of this, you're going to see that all the Pokemon disappear from the map, except for your high IV Pokemon. You don't ever have to worry about missing 100% Pokemon because you hit it from your map. 100% Pidgey is still going to show up with this uh, bright uh, maroon colored outline. Okay? So we're going to go back into settings and we're going to add back in the Pokemon that we want to see. The very first Pokemon we're going to add in is Unowned. Everybody wants Unowned. You don't ever want to keep that one hidden from your map, I'm sure. So we're going to click on it, and then we're going to change it. And we're going to put it in the high layer. We want that to be a nice big circle that's going to jump out at us on our map. We're going to save that layer. We're going to go back. And we're going to go right up into Options and Deselect All. We want to deselect it so that we don't accidentally change it again. We don't ever want to accidentally take Unknown off of our map. Okay? Now you're probably going to want to add in some more Pokemon. And I would recommend using the search bar up here to type in whatever first comes into your mind as being a Pokemon that you absolutely have to have. Okay? So... Uh, we're just going to add some in here. And don't forget about evolutions when you're doing this. You don't want to miss out on a Tyranitar spawn just because you only had Larvitar set to show up on your map. And as we're doing this, you'll notice that when I click on them, they light up blue. And this number down here goes up. And that's letting me know that even though I haven't changed these yet, they're all getting added in for me to change them as a group together. So now that I have a bunch of Pokemon selected, I'm going to go ahead and change these Pokemon, and I'm going to put them in the medium layer, okay? And I'm going to save that layer, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to deselect them. And then you might want to take a few minutes to scroll through this list and just see if there's any other Pokemon that didn't immediately come to your mind, but you do want to have added into your map. Like, normally, I would want to have Machop added to my map, but right now there's a Machop event going on, so I'm not going to click him. If I was to add him to my map right now, because he's boosted and there are so many Machop spawns, I would literally get like a gazillion Machop showing up all over my map. It would freeze up my map, and I would just really have a bad time. It's not going to want to work for me at all. But I'm probably safe to go ahead and click on his evolutions, because there aren't going to be as many of them showing up. And it's a good idea before an event starts to take a few minutes to think about what Pokemon might be boosted for that event. And if you already have them set to show up on your map, to go in and remove them so you don't get that high number of marker settings. So now that I've got some more Pokemon, 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh change them all at once. So I'm gonna put them in the low layer because I have a whole bunch of them selected and I don't want them to overwhelm my map, okay? I'm gonna save that layer. I'm gonna go back and I'm going to deselect them right away. And if I close out of this, then we'll see, oh, well, my map didn't actually change that much. Now, why is that? Well, it's because you guys listened to my first video and you followed my instructions and you turned the low and the medium layers off. So we're going to go back to settings and we're going to add them back in. So we're going to back out of this screen and we're going to go to layers and we're going to turn the medium and the low layers back on again. So now you can see that we have a bunch of Pokemon on our map, but if we zoom in a little bit, we can get rid of some of those clusters there. Okay. Now let's say that you wanted to shiny hunt a particular Pokemon. Maybe it was a Community Day shiny that you missed or a new shiny that's just been released. I'm going to show you how to use your presets in order to make just that Pokemon show up on your map, okay? So when I click preset number two, you'll see right away that we have all these spawns back on our map again. Everything is showing up. And that's because we haven't saved anything for preset two yet, okay? We're going to go back into settings, and I'm going to run through this real fast just to show you how easy it is once you get the hang of it, okay? So we're going to click preset 2. Make sure that you click preset 2. You don't want to accidentally leave it on preset 1 and be changing the things that you just worked so hard to set up, okay? So we're going to go to options. We're going to go ahead and we're going to select everything, change everything, hide everything, save it all go back and deselect it again. And then I'm going to add in maybe just one or two Pokemon that I want to shiny hunt. And I'm going to take those two Pokemon and I'm going to set them to high. I'm going to save that layer. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to options and deselect them. I'm going to close out of this. And you'll see for preset 2, now we have only Eevees and Pikachus showing up and our high IV Pokemon. And then for preset 1, we have all of our favorite Pokemon that we want for candy or whatever reason. And our, again, our high IV Pokemon are there. So now that we've made all these changes, we don't uh, want to have to worry about losing this data. So we're going to save it. We're going to back out of the uh, Pokemon settings menu. And we're going to go to app. We're going to go to backup, we're going to save, and we're going to confirm that we want to save. 